Alright guys, we are back to another episode and we are going on a new adventure, this time to Easter Island, the most remote island of the world, so let's go for this adventure, I'm excited. Headed out for our first adventure and first meeting to the island. On our first day, we headed out to do some bicycling around the island and visit several places where we could see the Moai. Good morning everyone, it's our first day here on Easter Island and we went to a little bike excursion here around the coast and finally arrived at one of the beautiful places uh, which the island is known for, it's called Tangariki and we are watching several moai here. Interestingly enough about the moais is they are always looking towards the island and um, the mythology or the belief is that uh, they were looking overseeing their families. Yes, uh, the moai was considered a representation of a past family member and therefore they were always watching over the people and not towards the sea. Alright guys, we finished the bike ride. We are here at a place called Hangarau Otearriki, where one of the first kings from this island embarked the ship right there on the beach where we are heading next to have a swim in the sea. All right, guys, we are here at another place. It's called Rano Raraku, and this is a big mountain hill where the people made the Moais. Yes, all the Moais or Ahus, well, all the Moais, they were built from this mountain which we are seeing here. And uh, it's set in this place, we are seeing approximately 400 uh, samples, um, which didn't make it to be finished or to go to the sea. <laughs> Alright, we're still here and there's one question I want to 
answer for you, uh, which is uh, you might have seen online that the Moais they have a body which goes below of the surface. And that is correct, there has been some excavations, especially here in this area, where they dig the hole up and they found that the Moais have bodies, indeed. But in comparison or compared to the ones they found near the beaches, right, uh, like the other place we visited, um, they don't have such a long body. And the reason is that um, they also digged up graves here, which date to much, much uh, longer time back than the ones we have seen near to the coast. And that is the big answer to why some have bodies and why others don't. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's day two of our experience here on East Island and today we are going snorkeling. You can see I'm wearing my jumpsuit or almost rearing it and in a little bit we are going into the water. Good morning everyone, it's day three of this holidays of this vacation. We are at a place called Winapu and the idea is today to walk through the famous crater of East Island. It's a nine kilometers hike and I don't know how far how long we will hike but let's see how this goes. Alright guys, we are at the crater now, it's very windy up here and behind of me you can see the Motus, which are these little islands where we went yesterday to snorkel and over here there was an interesting challenge which uh, was annually and over there one of or like many competitors they had to climb those high walls which we have seen on the hike so far, uh, climb them up and then return down, swim to those swim to those islands and pick up an egg from a bird which uh, was uh, found in this area and return to this egg to the top of the crater which I believe is on the other side of this room, the ceremonial place and the one who was first was winner of the tournament and also kind of the king of Rapa Nui which was known as the bird man.
guys, we made it now to the ceremonial site. This is actually a little bit village called Orongo. And over here we have the best view over the islands where the birds nest were. And we can see that the doors, they are one little, very small, and they are also facing towards the island. People here would wait for about one to two weeks um, because they didn't know when the bird would lay the eggs. And also very important is that this place wasn't used as a living place, it was only ceremonial. So only in the period where the um, event was happening, people were living here. Otherwise, they would move towards their respecting villages. Guys, we are back at the hotel now and we finished the hike this morning. It was really great, a little bit windy as I told you before. And now this afternoon we are relaxing here in the jacuzzi and enjoying the um, facilities of the hotel. All right, guys, it's the last day of our stay at Explorer, and we are on another full day. I will make like a time lapse here for you. Um, has been a great experience so far. We are staying another two days at our friend's house, David, and of course, I'm gonna share my experience there with you as well. But that's it for the video so far and hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can visit East Island too. <laughs> our last day here on Easter Island. Um, yesterday night was crazy. I hope you enjoyed the scene over there. And yes, having a nice breakfast, supposedly traditional. I am having a little bit of ceviche, as well there's some fruits, and as well the potato which grows in this region. All right, guys, this is really the end of the video now. We are embarking to the plane. It has been amazing here on Easter Island. And we were received with flowers and we were said goodbye with sea sedge, as the tradition is, so we have to come back soon. Yeah.